ChatGPT versus Gemini. Who can make the best Stardew Valley clone? This is the first prawn. Please create a fully functional Stardew Valley clone with art that I can play right away. There should be lots of features like tilling the soil, planting crops, buying stuff, talking to the NPCs, foraging, fishing, mining, and combat. It should actually look like Stardew Valley. Thanks. All right, I'm going to send it to ChatGPT and to Gemini at the exact same time. They both finished their games at around the same time, but we're gonna go with ChatGPT first. Okay. Um. Okay, I can move. I thought I could have moved there for a second, and it looks like there's some enemies there. I think those are the slimes. Um. How can I fight? Okay, I clicked five because it said click five to fight in mine. Um. Oh. Wait, it's working. No way. Okay. That's pretty decent. The main problem is it's so zoomed out. It's not really like Stardew Valley at all. Also, it's not really pixel art, but I don't know if they can do that. All right, so I guess I have an inventory. Yep, and when I switch, like it actually switches. Okay, I'm tilling the soil. Let's go. Now I'm going to plant seeds. Okay, that's working as well. Oh, I think I ran out of seeds. Okay, now I'm holding my water. Let me just see. Oh, wait, that's actually working. Wait, this is actually pretty cool. Let me see if I can fish. Okay, I cast my line. Oh, press space. Okay, I press space. Okay, do I need like superhuman reaction time or what? My crops are growing that quick. I feel like a day hasn't even passed by yet. Oh, and I just harvested by walking over it. This is pretty neat. The soil down south is great for farming. Yep, I agree. I don't remember there being a June in Stardew Valley, but I never completed the game, so maybe I'm wrong. All right, I can press B to buy some more seeds, so let's do that. Oh, parsnip seed, just like the game. I'm wasting all my gold on seeds and trying to make this money back. I'm gonna get rich. Okay, I equip my pickaxe. Oh, I mined some more. Let's go, it worked. This is pretty cool. Let's see how much gold we get from harvesting all the parsnips oh look at all that gold yo i'm rich all right pretty decent not bad for a first attempt let's see what gemini did right off the bat the graphics for chat gpt was way better okay i can actually see what i'm holding in the inventory which is pretty nice it's way harder to like play stuff like damn this is kind of really annoying to move around in i have turnip seeds let's plant these and now I'm gonna water the seeds. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's actually wasting my energy, no way. Let me just talk to this guy, Mayor Lewis. Well, hello there, welcome to our valley. Hope you settle in nicely. Okay, I think it says something different every time, which is pretty nice, but can I fish? I don't think I can fish. Oh, and now I'm blue. Oh, shoot, it actually has a UI for the general store. I can buy some more seeds, let's go. Okay, I entered the cave. This is how I attack the slimes. This isn't really like Stardew Valley, but it's something. So far, ChatGPT has the upper hand for sure. Let's add some more features. This is what I'm telling both of the AIs. Please add way more features just like in Stardew Valley. Make it so the whole world isn't just on one screen so I can actually travel around and explore the world. Make the world bigger. Also make it look way more like Stardew Valley. Thanks. ChatGPT is done. Let's see what it did. Okay, it actually made the world bigger. Not bad, not bad. There's a beach. Let me try fish here. I caught a fish. Let's go. I see the slimes coming for me. Why are there so many slimes? Yo, they gotta chill. This is actually scary. I didn't ask for a horror game. I'm gonna quit my sword i have full hp i should be able to take them all okay let me dodge their attacks okay got rid of them all let's go oh it has the shipping bin just like in the game a bunch of houses just bunched up together here is this jojo mart i don't even know what this is also i have no idea what these little red things are on the ground let's go mining i can't move i think i'm stuck on the rock let's move on to gemini's game looking promising i can still move the movement is still annoying this world looks significantly smaller than chat gpt's world and did it actually add anything new like i'm not noticing anything besides the ui at the top i'm just gonna plant some seeds see if i can make some more money yeah i'm getting kind of good at this look at this i'm fast am i the best or what i think this is my home but i can't actually go inside it wait can i go down here oh wait i didn't even realize that actually works kind of like stardew valley like it actually brings me to like a new scene where's the store though i think i got rid of it kind of decent i still prefer chat gpts though but who knows maybe that'll change maybe it'll add some nice new features this is what i'm telling both of the ais now please have 25 more stardew valley features make our pixel art thanks cheers chat gpt is done let's see what else it added it did not make it pixel art which is all right i guess i have an axe now or did i have that already 
Let's see. Oh, I can actually chop down a tree. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The slimes are already coming for me. Let me just uh, take care of that. Oh, I'm too exhausted. Wait, what am I supposed to do now? I just waste all my energy. I can only sleep in my farmhouse. Okay, that's pretty accurate. Where's my farmhouse though? One of these houses was mine. Now I can actually fight the slimes. Okay, let me just kill them real quick. There we go. Honestly, not too impressed though. I asked it for 25 new features. I don't really see 25 new features. Let's go over to Gemini. Um, what is this? Shipping bin. Okay, use menu to ship. How do I use the menu? I can actually craft stuff now. But where are the 25 new features? I can buy a fishing rod. Oh, this is kind of cool. Like the shading on when I till the soil. I didn't even realize. That looks pretty nice. I also don't know what this is in my inventory. It's like too small to see. And can I actually chop down trees? Oh, I can. Let's go. I got some wood. Let me give us some more instructions. This is what I'm telling both of the AIs. Make all the art, pixel art, add sound effects, make a map much larger and fill with stuff so it is interesting to explore. Hopefully they cook this time because honestly, they did not add much chat gpt is done and it's just a black screen let me fix that real quick i told her the screen is just a black screen hopefully it can fix it while chat gpt is fixing that let's try gemini's game those sound effects are not it yeah they are pretty loud it's still not pixel art maybe it's misunderstanding me or maybe it just can't do pixel art i'm gonna need to turn the volume down for those sound effects i turned the volume a bit down for you guys hopefully that's a bit better to hear well i'm gonna tell Gemini to do is to use nano banana to actually make the pixel art because I'm pretty sure I can do that. Chat GPT's is working now, but I had to paste it into notepad to get it working. It wasn't working with the canvas. Let's see what it's like though. Oh, these are wild berries. Let's go. That's actually pretty satisfying. Can pick up beach shells. Pretty cool. It did add sound effects, but the world's not that much different and still not pixel art. But I mean, not bad. And to be honest, tilling the soil and planting the seeds feels way better in ChatGPT's version than Gemini's. Let's see if Gemini actually made it pixel art. Let me uh, refresh. Oh, there's an AI art button. This requires a paid API key. Generation takes time. I don't think I have a paid API key, but let's see if it works anyways. Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't work. ChatGPT definitely wins this one.